orthogonal matrices are nice. The inverse is just a transpose. And it becomes even better when we consider the linear transformation T implemented by an orthogonal matrix Q. It is T of x equals Q times x. Then we will see that the transformation T preserves both angles between factors and the length of factors. That means that figures are not distorted by this type of transformations. Why are angles and lengths preserved? That is what you will learn in this video. Suppose we take our matrix Q. Same matrix as before. It is a square matrix. It has orthogonal columns. The length of the columns is 1. So we have orthonormal columns. So Q is an orthogonal matrix. Then we take the vector x. Let's compute the length of x. That's length squared equals 2 plus 8 equals 10. And then we compute Q times x. Q times x equals 3 minus 1. And we can compute the length of Qx squared equals 9 plus 1 equals 10 as well. So the length of x equals the square root of 10 and the length of Q times x also equals the square root of 10. Is that a coincidence? Well, let's take a closer look. Let us consider here the transformation from R2 to R2 implemented by the matrix Q. So if you start with vectors u and v, the images are q times u and q times v. And as we will see, both the angle between u and v and q u and q v is the same, and the length u and q u is the same, and v and q times v is also the same. Why is that? Well, it's actually not so hard to prove. Suppose we compute the inner product between q times u and q times v. We know we can rewrite the inner product between any two vectors as the transpose of the first vector times the second vector. And then we know that the product of the uh, transpose, so AB transpose, equals B transpose times A transpose. So we have to reverse the order. So we get a U transpose times Q transpose times Q times C, which was already there. And then we use the property of orthogonal matrices, QT times Q equals the identity matrix. So that vanishes, we get U transpose times V, and that's just U inner product with V. So we see that the inner products in the range are the same as the original inner products. The inner products are preserved. So what does, what does that mean? Well, if I take the inner product between to the same factor, so q u inner product q u, that equals u inner product with u, so the length of q u and u are the same, so length preserved. If we take the inner product between two different factors, so q u inner product q v, that equals u inner product with v. But we know the cosine of an angle equals the inner product divided by the length. Since the lengths are preserved and now also the inner product between the different factors is preserved, we know that also the cosine of the angle is preserved, so the angles are preserved as well. So that's why those transformations given by orthogonal matrices are really nice. They preserve both angles and lengths of factors.